Do you ever dream of just getting up and quitting your job? I, I don't. I like this one. But if you can start a small business where no one tells you what to do, you are the boss. Cameron Johnson might be a good person to talk to. Not only was Cameron a business owner before the age of 21, he had started 12 businesses before turning 21. He's the ripe old age of 23 right now, so he's sort of in semi-retirement talking to us about this. Cameron, good to talk to you. I, I, I mean, I read through the book. It's, it remains a mystery to me. You, uh, you just started doing business pretty much as early as you can. I think you were nine years old when you yes. first started your venture. What, what's going on? What, what got you into starting businesses? Well, I, I think I realized at an early age I wasn't going to be a professional athlete. I wasn't going to be a singer. Chances are I'm going into the business world. I'm either going to work for someone else or maybe I can work for myself. And the internet enabled me to do that at such an early age. Uh, what was the first gig? What did you do first? First gig was just a printing company, printing greeting card stationery. Whatever I could do with the computer and the printer, I would print it and sell it. Why, why did it occur to you not to be having fun at that age, but actually be having fun and making money? Well, I was doing both. Uh, this was always a hobby, so it was a passion of mine. And I think, too, that's why it led me to be successful. Um, but also, I played sports. I played soccer for 13 years. I really had a normal life, which may be hard to believe. Where, where did it first start to be about real money? When I was 12 years old, I made $50,000 that year selling Beanie Babies over the internet. And then when I was 15, my company was doing $15,000 a day in sales. And we were in online advertising back then. All right, so when, at some point, you realize that it's, it's a hobby and it's fun, but this is actually going to be become lucrative to you, what then happens? At what point do you go from being, uh, making it a hobby into learning the lessons and making it a business? Well, that's really in my teenage years. When I was 15, it was real money. You know, we're getting checks in the six figures every month. And uh, that's kind of when that led to more internet businesses. And then ultimately it led to the book, You Call the Shots. Um, and uh, you know, here I am today. All right, so we've got people out here. We're in a recession. One of the tough things about a recession is people do lose, lose jobs. One of the bright sides of a recession is people uh, reevaluate their lives. And many people, I mean, I think so many Americans want to be small business owners. It really is part of the American dream. Out there, for the viewers out there, what is the advice? What happens if you want to start your own business? What should you think about? The first thing is to do is to put yourself out there. You have to be willing to take the first step. And sometimes job loss almost forces you into that. So once you're in that position, then you can actually follow your dreams. Because 80% of people would love to own their own business. The only difference is only a small fraction of those numbers actually start a business. You didn't get into debt to start business. How did that work out? Why, why is that the case? I started with $50 when I was nine, and you know I didn't have any education. So people always look for excuses. Now's not the right time. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough connections. I don't have enough education. I didn't have any of those things, and I was still able to make a million dollars before I graduated high school. Let's talk about networking. It's surprising how much successful people will help people get started, uh, but for being asked. I exactly. I wrote, I wrote a letter to Donald Trump when I was eight years old, and he responded with an amazing present. When, on my first trip to New York City, he put me up in the suite where Home Alone 2 was taped. He did so many great things, and I've always been one to network, and I've always been one to look up to those people as my mentors. Now, tell me what uh, you can tell people when, when they do lose jobs or the economy's tough. It really gives you a confidence hit. You are about as confident a person as I've ever met. You talk <laughs> about when you have a business, you've really got to be confident about it. Especially, and I, one thing, too, I think is really important is to start small and to not take on debt. So many people think you have to take on $50,000 in debt to be successful, but let me remind you, Microsoft and Dell, they both started in dorm rooms. Cameron, congratulations on your success. We, uh, we will try and keep up with the speed with which you run business. <laughs> Cameron you. Johnson is the author of You Call the Shots. Jerry. Hard to keep up with Cameron.